This is not what you'd expect to see in someone's basement. Sharks between two and four feet long in a 15 foot above ground swimming pool. It's extremely unusual. Dutchess County SPCA senior law enforcement officer Kimberly McNamee says she's investigated 4,000 cases and never come across anything like this. I've seen um, crocodiles and I've seen snakes, um, stingrays, and I know there was another case that they had alligators as well. But no sharks? No, no sharks. The State Department of Environmental Conservation confirms they found seven live sand tiger sharks and three other dead sharks in the pool inside a home in LaGrangeville on August 23rd. The homeowner has not been charged with any crime at this point and his name and exact address have not been released. Investigators say the man was likely breeding the sharks to sell to private collectors. Sand tiger sharks are a federally protected species and illegal to own anywhere on the East Coast unless you have a special permit like an aquarium might. People here in LaGrangeville tell me they're simply stunned by the discovery. I can't believe that this happened here. It's such a small town and there's no sharks near here. There's no ocean near here. The sharks were caught in nets and removed from the pool, then carefully taken to the Long Island Aquarium, where they are currently under quarantine and being nursed back to health. These sharks were caught off the coast of Alabama on the, the Gulf Coast. We can't put them directly on exhibit anywhere because if they have some sort of pathogen, that will spread to the animals on exhibit. Experts say these are baby sharks, one to three years old, that could grow up to nine feet long much too big to be kept as exotic and illegal pets. In LaGrangeville, Dutchess County, Brian County Bear, CBS2 News. And environmental officials say that the investigation is still ongoing and the owner could still face criminal charges.